So at the end of my last video, uh, you probably noticed that the um, I, I experienced a crash, and that, that sort of thing does happen from time to time. It's usually got to do with the way your computer works with things in Maya. Um, in this particular case, the issue uh, for the crash was related to um, one of the preferences here. You'll see that if you go into your preferences in Maya and under animation, you'll see there's this um, evaluation here, and normally it's set to parallel. Um, I think that's what was causing the issue. I've switched this back to DG. Um, and if, so if you're having similar crashes to the one I had, um, fixing that might save things up for you. Anyway, I've got it all working again now. So I just wanted to go through and quickly show you um, the last little bit of this uh, kind of segment. So you'll see that um, now I've put in my, my keyframes. So if I select my fish here, you can see the keyframes that I put in. And these keys are showing me the blend shape um, positions. So this down here is um, the value in the blend shape slider of zero. And then that goes up to one here. So you can see that we can see that We've right at like one blend shape here with the tail swooshed all the way over to the fish's left. And then it goes all the way over to the right and then all the way over to the left again. Now if I play that animation, I've got 200 frames in this animation. So if we sort of zoom out here and look at all 200 frames, let's just zoom out properly. Okay, you can see here that we're only doing these first 40 frames, right? So when that we get past that point, the fish stops swimming. It'd be nice for the fish to keep swimming all the way through all 200 frames. One way we could do that would be to keep putting in more and more keyframes to keep getting that pattern moving through. But there's an even better way to do it. If you select that curve and go up to the curves menu here, you'll see these things pre-infinity and post-infinity. So pre-infinity is about what happens before the start of your curve, and post-infinity is about what happens after the end of your curve. And you can tell Maya that you want um, it to keep doing that animation. So if you go to post-infinity, you'll see this one called cycle here. And if you select that, what will happen is that this curve will keep running. So you'll notice now if I go through this animation, it'll play through once. And when it gets to the end of that animation, it'll keep playing that animation like there are more animation curves there. So basically, it just causes this animation to loop. This curve will just keep looping as if it keeps going. So now when I press play on my animation, you can see my fish will just start swimming and it will keep swimming the whole time. So what would be nice to do now would be to actually make my fish swim somewhere. So let's uh, go back and just do a quick normal animation. We'll take that right back to the beginning there. And now what I'll do is grab my fish object and I'll move it back over here somewhere. Keyframe that with the S key. And then move up to say frame 200 here and we will move our fish over to here somewhere, keyframe that. And so now we've got our fish moving through space and at the same time wiggling its tail. So let's uh, play that back and have a look at that. Okay, so there's my fish swimming along. Now, I don't like the way it starts off slow and speeds up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, have a look at the animation curves on my fish. And this is the curve here, the translate X curve, which is the one I'm kind of interested in. This is the movement of the fish. And what I want to do with this curve is I'm just going to make this one go to linear so that it's moving at a constant speed. So let's have a look at how that looks. All right, so that, that's okay. Uh, I'm not really sure if I like the way that that's swimming. Um, it looks kind of like the fish is swimming a bit too, like its tail seems to be moving a bit faster. So what I might do is I might speed this animation up a bit. Um, probably the easiest way to speed it up, um, to speed this animation up is to make this, this uh, curve here, this line, um, like steeper. And to make that line steeper, what I need to do is I need to just basically um, make it start further and go, so basically go a lot longer so I can start it a bit earlier and end it a bit later. But if I do that, my fish is going to move back here and end back over here further. So sometimes what I want to do is actually change the speed of the tail waggling animation. So if I have a look at this, I actually want this tail waggling to um, speed up a little bit. So what I'll do to speed up that tail waggling there, 
is I'll go to my um, back to my blend shape for this is my curve here it looks like a different shape now just because of the zoom level we've got here if I zoom it goes back to this kind of thing All right so what I want to do is I want to take the same curve but I want the whole curve to just be like a bit quicker so I want the beginning middle and end keyframes to be scaled in so I can select the whole lot there and I can come over here and I can click on this guy and then I can just drag this in and what I'll do is I'll drag it down so that those keyframes go into there and now what we'll do is we'll rewind that and we'll play it and you can see that the fish is waggling its tail a bit quicker and now I'm a bit happy with that speed I could try making it a bit faster still all right we'll see how that goes that's a bit too fast so back out to here somewhere okay maybe a little bit slower there's no exact science to this. I mean, there probably is an exact science to this, but it's nothing I'm going to play with here. I just want it to look about right. Okay, so there's my fish swimming along, looking pretty reasonable. And now I've got an animation which um, not only um, um, gives me some movement, but actually has some animation going on in there as well. So that's using uh, lattice deforms and blend shapes to get the effect we want. Go ahead, do the same thing with your own models. Um, you could try doing the same thing with a bird or a butterfly uh, where its wings are flapping. You could uh, come up with something even more exciting than that.